Hello and what's up my friends, it's Thunderpop here, and tonight we're going to be checking out some more Hades 2. So my previous video was the technical test, I did a couple of runs, I beat the first boss, uh, and then the technical test ended, and out of nowhere they dropped early access. And what's crazy is this early access is not just the first area, like people kind of assume, this is like a full-blown game. Like There is more content here than in all of Hades, and this is still an early access. I think uh, what I read is it's missing like the final um, uh, ending. It's missing one area. Uh, there's a weapon missing, a few odds and ends. But overall, I've put uh, three hours in the technical test and maybe eight hours in the full-blown game, and I am absolutely in love with it right now. Uh, I'm going to spend just a couple of minutes showing you uh, the weapons I've unlocked, uh, five of the six current uh, excuse me, four of the five uh, currently available weapons and um, show you my keepsakes, show you the Arcana I've unlocked so far. And then we're going to do a run. I actually already went on the run. This has been my most successful run to date. I got to the third boss and uh, God, the second boss is amazing. And I, my, my heart was beating so fast during some of these encounters. It's so intense. I'm absolutely in love with this game, but let's go ahead and just talk about a couple things. I showed this in the technical test. Uh, one thing I mentioned in the technical test, I think you only had like the first couple rows available, but every time you unlock one of these cards and you get to the end, like another row builds on. And I think I've gotten all the way to the end now. I think this is the total slots. And these are basically like your mirror from the first game. These are Arcana cards. You'll come in here and you'll spend your currency, your, um, Ash to unlock these. Like this one would cost me 25. I have 17. And I would also need one of my cinders, which you get from the first boss. And then I could activate this. And in the top right corner is a little hand symbol. That's the grasp that is required to use these cards. And in the top right is my like portrait over here. And this grasp can be increased. I think I read the max is 30. So I'm making my way towards that max already. You increase this by using that psyche at the bottom of the screen there. Right now it costs me 120 to uh, upgrade to the next tier, which would take me from 18 to 20 of them. And it's as simple as, you know, if I want to change out my cards, I could, I'll have to get more. well, I don't have that one unlocked yet, but uh, I think I'm using all the ones I've unlocked so far. Um, but it's as simple as just clicking on it. And you want to make sure you're under that 18 uh, limit. Um, some of these are pretty cool. Some of them, you know, when you channel uh, your moves, everything slows for a couple seconds, uh, gaining health at new locations like some of them are really impactful like for certain builds like this gives you two mana every one second so it's a constant mana regeneration something that you can get through other means but this is like one of the few ways other than a certain keepsake to start with mana regeneration so if you're going for a build that's based around your charge up attacks um then this would be very useful because that spends your mana constantly so this is what i'm using right now uh there's definitely uh you know, a lot to, uh, to still unlock. Um, but I'm kind of happy with my setup at the moment. I got Death Defiance. I got some mana regen. I got uh, health coming in. I've only unlocked a few of my keepsakes so far. Uh, I've got uh, Silver Wheel, which this is the one that can get some, some mana regen back. And I think this upgrades to, I want to say it's 1,500 or 2,000 uh, when you get to the third tier. I've been using the Lucky Tooth, which I have ranked up all the way to three. And this will give you one Death Defiance that will bring you all the way up to 101 health. And uh, got the Ghost Onion, uh, basically just a way to restore health. And I think when this when this gets to rank 3, it probably is going to give you 150 health. So technically it might actually be more useful than this. The, having that Death Defiance, it kind of the extra whole life is useful. But if you're just talking about on a, on a health basis, the, the Onion might be a little better. I got this Silken Sash, which gives you 20 armor and if you have at least one then you get two armor after each location which i think also could be useful i'm curious what the upgrade on that looks like so i've got a bunch of keepsakes to still go through um i'm using the axe right now and this is the weapon i'll be using during this run this is a really cool weapon it's got um like a whirlwind attack like you feel like a whirlwind barb the longer you hold that the longer you can go uh it's got like a like, this thing here is basically like a block, and then if you charge it up, you do this really crazy, like, screen-clearing effect. So, Axe is really, really cool. This is your starting weapon here. Uh, 
feels a lot like the um from the first game what was that the uh the spear uh not as much range but it's got i think out of the weapons here it's it's one of the higher ranged melee weapons and then it's got kind of like a like a shot attack for your uh, uh for your special and then if you charge that up it'll do like a bigger aoe attack you got your daggers really fast but low range weapons if you do your charge up on this you will teleport behind your opponent like that really useful for backstab damage and then the charge up attack will do like multiple daggers the base attack is just a single dagger that you throw which is a nice ranged attack you got these things also these i have not fallen in love with like the the normal attack just kind of sucks it's just not good. If you hold it down, you get, like, a bigger, like, attack. And it does kind of, like, bounce. Um, I like this thing more, though. And I had a really successful run earlier. It almost feels like a um, Blessed Hammer Paladin from Diablo 2. Where you're, these things do circle you. So, you, like, you cast a couple and you just keep moving around the screen. And I was playing almost the, a fairly successful run. I got to the, almost to the second boss. Um using this attack let's see and then we have the axe which i'll be showing you this run uh and in this run i get all the way to the third boss for the first time and i actually i get to the second boss for the first time i beat that boss on that first attempt i get all the way to the third boss and i get him to about a third health and i die because i didn't really know his uh his routine and all so we're going to go ahead and jump in and uh, go through this this uh, attempt, and um, I'll probably do some future coverage if I actually manage to beat the third boss or, you know, subsequent bosses. I'm not sure how many acts there actually are in this, um, because I've only gone this way, and I know eventually you unlock this ward where you can go the other direction, so I'm kind of assuming there might be equal content the other direction, but honestly, as far as I've gone this way is about the size of of Hades one. So if there's a whole nother act to the other way, like this is a huge game. And I've got to say, I'm just like absolutely in love with this game, the gameplay, um, the systems, the upgrades, the way it kind of like breadcrumbs things to you over time. Like, like every run, it feels like you unlock something new, a new power, a new weapon, a new card, um, new upgrades in your town. Uh, and if not that, then it's story things. Every time you come back to town, uh, these characters will have something new to say to you. And it's almost always very relevant to the conversation, uh, to the last run you're having. So maybe that last run you got the furthest you've ever gotten, they will comment on that and talk about the boss that you got to and talk about how successful you were. If you fail miserably, they will say like, oh, I didn't, I've never seen you run that badly before. Uh, if you kill an enemy for the first time, if you pick up an item for the first time if you get a boon for the like every what it what it almost feels like is one of the developers has like a giant spreadsheet and it's like here is every npc in the game you can talk to and then like the other column is like every single action you could have in the game and for every single one of those for every single character there's probably like 50 dialogue options and it's like you you never hear the same thing it's always interesting I really, really like Mil uh, Way, the main character. Uh, I love kind of all the characters she interacts with. I don't want to spoil it too much, but if you watch the technical test, you'll see introductions to all these characters. Um, yeah, I'm really, really in love with the gameplay, with the story. Like, I just, I cannot praise this enough. If you are a fan of Hades 1 or you like rogue games or you like good games in general, you will probably dig this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, we're gonna try this with the Moonstone Axe. Since I go, strength, knowledge, patience. Let's see what I get. Family scatter to the wind to bid my niece. You've heard from those of us upon this mountain top, but Zeus sent several of his children to take care of things down closer to the base. They're probably just fine. All right, your special hits pose with a splash. Your sprint deals damage and impact and knocks foes away, but it spends five mana per hit. Or after you strike with your weapon, a spirit bubble may appear. And the spirit bubble has a 10% chance to spawn and restores 
20 mana. Uh, I don't have anything really to spend mana on early. Uh, my special being Splash. I actually had this and I got upgraded a few and I also had uh, one of the hammers that upgraded the Splash considerably and it worked pretty well. And with this in particular, her special is like crazy good. I just got hit already. Oh, it did. I like this axe a lot. It's a little slower. Not even those with the power to enter the. But um, the uh, charge up attack is like crazy. Like that will wipe a screen. Of course, we got our. If you if you don't know what the resources are, you can press uh, over at any time. Actually, it won't let me do it while I'm in combat here. I'll show you once I'm done. And this weapon, it's a lot slower, but it will tear up anything. And it's got, like, it does so much damage, it seems to stagger pretty well. Kind of occupied here. These guys are super easy because they just spam three bolts. But it's always, like, once they are fired... They never deviate from where they're going. Uh, but as far as the resources, you can always come in here and see all of them. Uh, bones are uh, for buying items. Ashes are for um, upgrading and getting new arcana cards. Psyche is like the number of arcana cards you can have. These are all used for various upgrades, either at the um, cauldron or at the weapons, like unlocking new weapons, that sort of thing. While I love the music a lot, let's let's uh let's lower that just just a little bit. Maybe it's now too. Okay. Alright, the moon is really like, I don't know, sometimes it works, but you have to spend mana to trigger it. So I haven't actually been in love with the moon, but then the other one is just to get more mana. So, I suppose we'll go with the moon option. That's where, like, I I feel like overall, um, I love this, you know, Hades 2, it, it hits all the same notes of the first game. There does feel like there are maybe a few small balance things that still need to be done. Like, some of the powers feel a little bit over-tuned or under-tuned. Uh, and it could just be that I haven't figured out all the best ways to use them as well. Faith, your task would not require you above, only below. But Hermes indicates the threat here on the surface now looms larger than we thought. Rise to us then, whenever time. So, now. all of her abilities are hexes, and the hex triggers after you spend a certain amount of mana. So, like, your hex raises one random slain foe from this encounter to fight for you for 12 seconds, which you can only trigger after spending 100 mana. Or your hex restores 25 health up to three times, which resets whenever you use fountains. And that's triggerable after you spend 70 mana. So that's actually pretty good. That'll give me 75 health, basically, on each of the different worlds. Because each, you know, there's a fountain in between each of the boss fights. Your hex fires a beam that deals up to 1200 damage for three seconds. That's kind of cool. But I think the health one I might go with. Moon water. Together we shine. You can see it's already triggered. I think it already starts activated. It's in the bottom left there. And then as I use mana, that moon symbol will return. And again, we've got, if I want new cards or I want to uh, up my grass, which will allow me to use more. So we'll go with this because I'm pretty close to like a break point with the, uh, with the grass. This is the Titan's fault. And you can stop those guys from attacking you if you get a swing in. These guys are annoying, but all you got to do is drop your your cast to uh, to stop them. All right, so money or mana? Uh, we're gonna go with money. I like some money. And these are like the boss version, so they spit out more. 
And again, that charge up is crazy good. And the charge up is almost like a whirlwind attack, which is pretty cool. But the charge up on the secondary, I think, is even better. Some of these golden coins. Some of these things, I think, you must unlock through the cauldron. Like I'm sure there's something that maybe spawns there. These tables, like in the first game, would let you do things. Do I want to spend the gold or go for the power? This will be a boss fight too. I feel like I want to save the gold until I hit like a a better break point, better I threshold. Returned. So I could only get like one power with that. And after the first time, these guys, this boss particular becomes kind of easy once you figure out you gotta sprint. You just gotta hold that button down to increase your speed. use my moon power there which I wasn't sure if you if you stack them uh, if it might like use it back to back but it does not appear like it does Gonna do it again gonna use some mana Sprint deals damage on impact. Any minor finds are worth more, so you get more gold crowns. And at the start of encounter, your attacks and specials are. Ooh, I've, I've actually found this one very beneficial. Where like for ten seconds, you're a just a monster. Power. Anything else? No. Like that. Like. You just rip through everything. I'm already low on health, it's not going so great. I've only used this weapon once before, so I'm still kind of getting loose to that, uh, that slower speed. Uh, I need more ambrosia. I've got a couple of them, but I'm kind of trying to figure out what keepsakes I want to go for. Always drop that cast to prevent them from chasing after you. I guess I, overall, um, I really am digging this. It's, it, it, it is early access, and I feel like there's still, the biggest thing is there's still, like, some balancing that's, I'm sure, um, going to be coming. Damn it. That was a least. And then the final boss, and a few other odds and ends, but, like, when the first game came out in early access, it had, what, one act? available um and almost no story and like was way way different than the final product so it feels so much further along Spinning. Huh. i love the spider can you go don't my friend just you don't need to look at me like that you don't need to look at me at all look at the fineries i've made silk in every shape and color see it's beautiful isn't it it is arachne but to think I could have wronged you with an inadvertent glance just now. It's just I'm concerned for your safety out here. Oh, there's no need for that. You see, my form included certain benefits. I get to live a long, long time to enjoy it. Besides, just because you found me here doesn't mean just anybody can. Alright. 
So the nice thing about her is she's giving you like an outfit that gives you armor and then gives you like a cool power. But if you lose that armor, then you lose the power. But it's kind of nice. It's like giving you 50 health plus a power. But if you get hit too many times, you will lose it. So you can channel faster, which is like your charge up, which is nice because I'm actually using my, um, my special charge up quite a lot. You get extra gold whenever you... I feel like that trade-off is not enough. Five gold, not a lot. And then the extra health, but it also, that gives you 50 armor, so you keep it longer. And also, you restore some health. I kind of need that health, I feel like, right now. Uh, we'll go with the grass. And I already gifted her once, so I've got her keepsake available. I love that. Because I got that one that makes it does do even more damage. And she's got kind of like a three hit combo. It's like a left, a right, and then an overhead that does way more damage. So you can kind of like, if you can do it right, that third one will hit a big group of enemies. It feels really nice. Oh, I could go to Chaos, which will eat up some of my health. I feel like I never... I don't know. These are so hit or miss. The hammer, though, I gotta go for the hammer when I see it. See, like, in the first 10 seconds, I'm able to one-shot those guys. And then after that 10 seconds was over, uh, I wasn't one-shotting those guys anymore. So that, that can help you, like, clear a whole wave of enemies. But in the longer fights or the boss fights, unless you could really front-load your damage, it's kind of hard to get that much benefit out of it. So my charged attacks gain plus two power each time it keeps hitting the same. Bow. Could be useful for like a boss. Your attack becomes a big chop with 300 power. Well, that's cool. During your charge check, you're free to use your attack and special. So that's like your whirlwind attack. So again, you charge up and you do your whirlwind attack and you get plus two power each time it keeps hitting the same bow. Does that power stack? Uh. Like on a boss, I'm thinking, if I do that and it gives me plus 10 power, do I keep that going or does it wear off when the spinning stops? I kind of want to try this Hell Splitter. My silver shines. Oh, but it's like, it's kind of slow. But uh, it seems like that's probably going to be like an AoE kind of attack. Alright, so I got enough gold for the sack, maybe? I could get some more armor, which I still have 41, but that would keep my one power going a little longer. I get enough, I should probably just top off everything. All of this tainted gold. You'll see that it's disposed of properly, Lord Caron. I've heard some people say this is a um, temp art. I'm not sure. It could just be like they're kind of obscuring the face there. I long to see that day. From me to you. All right, all right, I'll take that. Just stuffed into some unmarked sack, I swear. I was surprised it didn't burn right through. Sometimes it isn't easy getting hold of you, you know. All right, so you can. My attack is also inflicting scorch, which my attack now is like that big AOE attack. So that would be useful. I can hold cast to aim if I a projectile. Uh, I haven't really worked on my cast. Like all my damage is coming from those big attacks. I feel like that's just wasting my time. My special also launches a fire projectile, but uses 10 mana. So my big charge up attack that goes across the screen would also launch a fiery projectile, which does another 80 damage. That's kind of cool. But it also uses 10 more mana. When it already does, what are the, those are th they're hitting for like two or 300 damage. I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna go with this one. So when I do my attack and it does the big AOA thing, it also will do scorch to everyone. We'll see if that pays off. A little bit more of that. And I give my flame strike. 
So now my attack is producing 25 damage. Okay. Going into the first fight with some decent armor, a little bit of health, and uh, has my my moon thing really not triggered again? Can I? I thought it was three times and then a reset at the fountain, but it hasn't. I feel like I've spent 70 mana, right? Like, let's see if I can make a trigger here. I probably shouldn't do this because. Do I have... Okay, I do have some mana regen going. Alright. Count right now. I just spent 75 and it hasn't triggered, so maybe it's only once per... Oh, up to three times, which resets whenever you use the fountains. Maybe I misread that. I assumed it was 25 times per... Like, you use it three times. You get the fountain, you get three more. But it seems like what they're saying is at each fountain, it resets, which is not anywhere near as good as I uh, initially assumed. I can take her. That's one of these things where sometimes there the text is not as clear as it should be. Headmistress, I'm concerned Kronos may find us. I first encountered him not far beyond these woods. There are so many passageways to Erebus, it is exceedingly unlikely he shall find the way. You face a greater risk than that, right? Damn, look how much damage that's doing. Damn it. And this one's kind of annoying because you gotta figure out which one it is. I think before you can deal damage. It's kind of funky sometimes. That's crazy. 390 damage on my normal attack. It's just super slow. And I, like, there are times where she becomes uh, invulnerable, and it's like, I feel like there are different patterns. Like, there are definitely fights um, where the way she attacks me is different. Oh, okay, I can do, like, charge it up and then dash in. That's really useful. Like, sometimes she'll do certain patterns, and then, like, I won't see it on the next round, and I'm like, I'm kind of not sure... Uh, like, how many different pattern she has. I have more hexes up my sleeve. Get out of there. Good. This thing sucks. I've never been able to not get hit by it. It'll turn you into sheep, which is oh I love how they acknowledge like any time you do something new, like I've never been able to dodge that attack. Which it turns you into a sheep and you gotta like run around the battlefield. And I dodged it and she like acknowledged like that's never missed before. You know that extra 130% in the first 10 seconds? When I attacked her, that first attack did like 300 damage. I just realized it was because uh, of the... Uh, I don't know. Oh, I lost my armor. That's quite enough. All right, so I beat, I beat the first boss without using it in my death point. Be generous to you in your return to shadow now. The fire stepping princess stands alone. And my moon thing recharged. See, that's weird. I, I, I feel like the, the tool text on this. Your hex restores 25 up to three times, which resets whenever you use a fountain. Like, I don't know. The way I read that is not the way it functions. And I find that a lot. Like, there's certain texts where it's just like... Like, unless I looked at a guide... He's there. You. This is Kronos, I'm pretty sure. The big boss. You, my girl, are meddling in matters you do not understand. Your father made certain choices. 
He was bound by them. But you are not. You need not follow in his ruinous path. Ruinous? You brought ruin to the underworld and the surface. I'll never accept what you've done. Now enough talk. How very spirited. You truly think you can stop time? Well then, I would like to see you try. Then watch this. <laughs> I kind of feel like, um... I found a lot of some silver this room. There's going to be some kind of bait and switch. Like, you remember in the first Hades, you're going after, you know, your father and stuff, and you presume he's, like, the big baddie, and it's like, the more you play, it kind of becomes clearer, like, the dynamics between your family and why things they are, and he's not, he's not a good guy by any means, but there are reasons for why he did things. I don't want to, you know, spoil things too much in case you, uh, you haven't played it, but... I think this is going to be a good run. This, I've never had the axe plus that high damage attack. It's super slow, but like if you can time it right, it's crazy powerful. So I can make my attacks do even more scorch damage. I can make my splash hit foes with a splash that knocks away. Oh, this is the pomp, so I'm just upgrading. I can start with the first 10 seconds doing 156%. I feel like that's better than getting like four more scorch damage, which it that is a dot. So it will do it over time. But yeah, I feel like because my damage is already so high. Uh, we're going to go with I feel like I need a bigger health. Pool. Like it, look at that 465 damage. 800 damage. Actually, I think my normal attack might be doing more damage than the uh, charge up there. I gotta get used to the range on, on this attack. I'm also not very clear on her, her triangle attack. I think that's like a I think it blocks, and it does like just damage right in front of you. I have no idea why you'd ever use that instead of your normal attack. Like they're both non-mana attacks with similar ranges. And sometimes you'll have these like covered up, and it'll be like an X on it, and you click on it, and uh, two more enemies will come out, and you fight them, and it'll open up those options. But it's interesting that it gave me like the full, the full uh, option here. Those guys, you have to wait until the armor opens up to be able to hurt them. Oh. These are nice because, like, they're opening and I'm timing that attack perfectly. Usually, I have to go through, like, two rounds with, like, the, the daggers. Place is on you now, sunshine. It's like you're at the bottom of the sea. Wherever it is, it's awful dark. And as you know, I've always got the cure for that. All right, my sprint faster and inflict days on nearby foes. I don't sprint that much unless it's like the boss that has that attack where you have to. I have a, you'd have a 5% chance to do a double attack, which, like, how much damage? I wonder if that works with the thing I've got. I kind of, or my cast expands the size until it expires. I, I barely use the cast unless I'm locking someone down or I get, like, the flame cast. I feel like the flame cast is good. You drop it on the boss and then you just keep running around. I want to see. Adequate. Like, if this will actually trigger... It's only 5%, so that's not much, but... Okay, so this would be a boss fight, which... I've died to that boss. It's like a Hydra thing. Like, three times. I am not... I'm gonna try to bypass the boss this run, because I'm feeling really good about this setup. Feeling pretty confident at the moment. May not stay that way, but. He's here. Hear me. 
on my authority. All right. While standing in your cast, you gradually restore mana. In each encounter, you deal more damage until you take damage. So you get it's like a ten percent damage bonus until I take a hit. Or after you take damage, your foes take damage and you inflict days on all foes. Well, that's kind of cool. So, if I get hit, they take a hundred damage, which is not a small amount. And everything gets dazed, and days uh, afflicted foes take 20% chance to deal no damage. So, like a little bit of protection. You don't want to get hit, obviously, but that's a good revenge amount. I might go with the epic. Uh, yeah, because I already have... Can I? Yeah. I think, yeah, I've already got the Unseen, so I have a little bit of mana regen already coming in from my Arcana card. I couldn't remember if I grabbed that one or not. Alright. Do we want a Palm, or do we want a new power? And I didn't... Have I you like... Maybe it's because I'm not... It says, after using enough mana while foes are near. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is three per run, but I've got to use the mana when they're close enough. I don't know. I'm confused on the... I need to maybe Google a little bit about the moon stuff. I feel like I got a good setup, and maybe just making those powers better is better than... Is that Hermes? Trying to use mana just to trigger the thing now. There's so many of these guys. Thing is, okay, so that that did trigger. So I just got that that health back. It's like the flame actually has a little bit more range. Than my attack. All right. Actually, I barely used my special, other than the charge one. I could have another. I still haven't seen that double attack. I'm like, I'm hoping... I, I kind of want to keep going that, just to see... Okay, do I want um, Ambrosia to give to my gods to get their keepsake? Some some bones to be able to buy stuff from the shop. Some more... Um, what's this stuff called? It's uh, the ashes. This is for unlocking cards. I feel like I've been trying to build up some of this, because I'm going to try to unlock all the keepsakes, obviously. That was cool. The hunt is on. You're just in time. Is this where she like challenge? Oh, this isn't. I've done some of them where she challenges me to see who can um, kill the most. Nice this shot. does not seem to be. This is just where she helps you out, which is cool too. I'm all for for people helping. I have no idea. My damage sometimes is like 900, or is that hers? Maybe that's her attack. Well done. But like sometimes I'll see my damage way lower. I don't know if it's the armor. Maybe it's the fire going off. What's up? Hermes finally got a hold of you, did he? Sounds like things have really taken a turn on Olympus. Glad I'm not there. Artemis, how can you say that? It's your home. I'm going to see if I can head up there and lend a hand. Is that even possible for you? Born of the underworld and all that? Then again, you're a witch. Must have a remedy for everything. True. True that. 
Those in your casts may take critical damage from your attack. A random folk agent that can mark it takes critical damage. This repeats. That's cool. So I always have someone taking critical. And And the marked is a curse that afflicts was a third percent chance to hit critical damage. And criticals deal 200% damage or greater. Wow. Those with at least 80% health may take critical. This is nice because it's like it's a 10% chance to crit on basically um like the first hit you have on everyone is, is has a chance to be crit. But this gives you a 30% chance. Um I think I might go with this one because like I'm thinking on a boss. Hopefully it works on bosses. That's a 30% chance and if it stays on there. That's pretty dang cool. Moonlight guide you. Uh we're going to keep going with I'm looking to get enough grasp for the next tier. I feel like I got to be getting close to the boss. So many enemies. Not anymore. Why did that not trigger? I had the mana port. Oh, I'm out of mana. It's kind of hard with these fast moving guys and all my attacks are so slow. that out. Oh, I didn't want to hurt myself. Okay. I bet the boss is after this, because usually the shop is just before. I do have some gold, so I think I'm going to go spend my gold. I have enough to get power and a palm, but I couldn't get the extra. We're going to go with with the power and the palm, I think. I just, I'm trying to get as far as I can with this run. It's going really well. So after you do a charged up cast, rapidly deal damage in area for two seconds. It's ten damage, which is not much compared to everything else. Standing in my cast, I restore mana. And foes with daze take more damage if struck from behind. I did have something that was putting daze out. What was it? This is where I kind of have to like think about it. If you really, okay, after I take damage, your foe takes hundred damage, and is and all foes are inflicted by daze. So whenever I get hit. Everything has days. Um, I don't think I have anything else. So if I get hit, everything around me gets dazed. And then if I hit them from behind, they take 50% more damage. That's pretty cool. Or do I want another source of mana regen? Because I've only got... The only source I have right now is from my card, which is two every one second. Which is not a lot, but... Choices, choices. I really haven't been using my cast much just because I should have used it in that last fight because I could have slowed down all the enemies coming at me. Okay. I still have not... I'm gonna have to, like, check the footage. Has anyone seen the extra dose actually trigger? At this point, I think I, I should have seen it by now. Uh, I can make the revenge damage up to 125. I can have 75% backstab damage. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go all the way on this. If it's not working, I feel really dumb. This is the the boss to this area, and I have not. I've heard this is the coolest boss like ever, um, but I have yet to fight them. Okay, all right, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna beat them on the first try. You must be different. What's your name? Oh, make yourself comfy. We're just about to start, aren't we, gals? Sirens. I should have known you were the source of all that singing. Slink down into the underworld, have you? It's the perfect pressure down here. It's the pressure trying to make art while all our fans are watching, begging. Skilla, where's your next soul? Don't you drown your so-called fans to death? Oh, don't ever say such things about our fans. Oh, hey, gals. Let's say we give her the old song and day. All right. <sighs> I'm feeling good about this. I have two, like, death defiance things. 
30 health. I also can trigger my moon thing if I use the mana. We got this. Oh, I'm like already. I have no idea. This is the first time um, I have done this fight. I mean, I'm gonna use the moon. God, there's so many things all over the screen. That's doing a lot of damage. Not a mana though. But I'm not sure, like, if I should be attacking. Okay, they're taking damage, so I can just pump them for a little bit. Oh god, get out of there. Oh, get back in there. Oh, that's cool. I, like, messed up their song. And they become, like, immune when I do that. So now I gotta fight her. Okay, I got this. I don't know what just happened. Seems like they're all taking damage again. We're gonna... Oh, there's the first death defiance. Gosh. This is stressful. So stressful. Okay, I got ten. Is she... She's still in the fight. I'm about to die. I could use this mana before I die. I'm hoping that stops her. Like it would stop the uh, the other chicks. So close to. I'm assuming red bad. Okay, but I do have the 75 health too, so that filled me back up. Okay, I broke her thing. And this little orb thing that's chasing me is really messing up my my mojo here. Nope, I'm out of mana. I think I gotta hit her though. Holy shit. Just gonna pound on her. Okay. I just got the big big lady left. Holy shit, I beat her on the first try. That was a cool ass fight. The music and the sound effects, and like when you killed the the sirens, their music stopped. I think this is my eighth run. First time I got to the second boss. I I think I was like a an encounter or two from this on my last couple runs. Whew. Let's go ahead and use that. <laughs> my heart is. If I had my heart rate monitor on right now, it would be like 120. I bet. I wonder if... I didn't even notice. These are breakable. I bet that would have helped if I could have triggered them. I'm going to have to like watch that fight again. Because there was so much going on. There's explosions all over the, the place. Um, yeah, that was sick. That was cool. Gosh. I'm like, I need a breather after that. I need a cigarette. I don't even smoke. Is there a fountain? Is this the fountain? I just almost walked right by the fountain. Which probably would have... Yeah, okay. So that did... You do get three per run. I'm an idiot. You, it was just not triggering because you have to use the mana in proximity to... Uh, Big drop. To your enemies. And my understanding is... Um, Don't lose your way here, Mel. There's like some kind of tr trick like where you get to the end and then instead of descending, you start ascending. Oh, what is that? Is that a bad guy? That is so cool. It's watching me. What the heck? What is this? Am I there's no there's no thin to fight. Oh, okay. So they're like blocking my way. This must be like the edge of the area. Okay. I don't know. I'm just exploring here. This is this is really cool. God. 
I, this is early access, but it feels more complete than... I've played games that are out, that have been out, and have got content patches and stuff, and like years of support that don't feel this smooth and put together. That's more than usual. It's, okay, so it's just like a one. I want to make sure I get the hammer. It's all so vast. What is that? And seal. Where'd the hammer go? I just want the hammer. I don't know what that thing is. I don't like it. This is like when you get to a new area and you have like no idea like what any of the enemies do. And it doesn't help that my attack, all my attacks have like huge windups. Okay, so it does. I thought it was just like chasing me the whole time. Like this sucks. I should have gotten some more mana regen. Like, these guys are starting to have more life. I should be using this, too, to lock him in place. I'm kind of dumb. I don't know. I, it, that wasn't in Hades 1 in that manner. So, like, I... I don't know, my brain just does not um, always remember to use it. Especially with the guys that are like following you. Come on, you bros. Ooh, that does a lot of damage if it hits you. I don't know what I just what that was. Your channel, your attack faster and move 60% faster while it's active. So that's my whirlwind attack, which I hardly ever use just because the other wait, I can I even do the charge up attack anymore? I, I thought I replaced it, but maybe I'm dumb and I can still do that. Your special destroys 30 second of armor. Okay, which I hardly ever use, except for the charge up one. After blocking a foe with your special, deal 50% more damage for 15 seconds. So that's that the base triangle is a is a block, which I never use. I really should. I've only used the this axe like once before, so I'm still getting used to it. Your channel. You channel your attack faster. New 60 breath faster wall of active. So that's my. But I don't think. Gosh. Like, I don't want to screw up. Let's see. Where are my. Does it show it on here? The one I already had? Am I blind? Your attack becomes a big chop. But that's my base attack. So I guess I still have the whirlwind. I could still do that. And you channel it faster and you move faster and I never blocked it. we'll go with that where's the last one huh? that's pretty cool some food so is this just like one long level now and it seems like some of these things are locked like this I think if I activated it I'm gonna have a big ass fight again and, like, do I want to do that? I have no death defiances left. Um, I think I'm going to ignore the gold. Because I don't want to trigger another fight if I don't have to. Oh, proceed. That's the proceed? But it doesn't show me... I guess either of these would let me go. But it doesn't show me what's in the next area. Still prizes to be claimed. Oh, okay. So it will not let me proceed until... Okay, so these areas are a little different. They're, like, much bigger. 
I wonder if this little cloud um, will hurt me. I'm not sure. Ooh, what are those werewolf looking things? Can I block you down? That wasn't too bad. I still have my moon. I think I can finally go. Which I should probably use once I can. Okay. Wow. So it's a boss fight and one power. Or uh, a heart, a palm, and a power. Yeah, I will go this way. Because I don't know what that boss the, the sub boss is gonna look like. I feel like I want to kill these guys before I activate. Corrupted shades. Just because, like, why am I going to fight multiple guys if I don't have to? That's just me. You know, do, do you do you. Going to be a problem. What are these things? Like, I have no idea the attack patterns of, like, any of these guys. Like, so much of this game is learning, like, what is going to kill me? What do I have to dodge? What are the timing on things? Like, I feel like that first area, I got it down. I can get through that 99% of the time. Unless I just have, like, the worst run of luck, I got it. Um, this, I'm like... I'm taking it much slower. I didn't notice I could use that. Those, they, like, spit out, like, hearts. Let's lock you down. Okay. So I should, should be able to get that palm. Right? Where, where'd the palm go? Where was it? Over here. Okay. More scorch damage. See... What counts as the encounter? Because these levels are so much longer. I'm kind of curious if... I'm going to have to test that out. But I don't want to invest more in it. Um, and these guys have so much life now that five more Scorch damage I think is not going to do much. But, yeah, we'll just go with it. Never get enough of those. I should also trigger this so that I can keep... So I got two more uses of it. So I gotta do all of these. Right? To be able to proceed. Okay, so it did. Um, what is what is the big darkness coming at me? What is going on? So that's that at least slows that thing down. Still, what is... What is that? I, I can't fight it. It's just like dark. It's almost dead. Is it going to instantly kill me? It seems bad, right? Is it dead? It's still coming. I'm out of mana. I don't want to get close. And I don't really have any other range attack because my replaced my one thing. It's not dying. Check. Take a check. Oh, do I just have to kill all the enemies, maybe? Maybe that's it. I bet that's it. Okay. Still. I'm not I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Can I? Did it look like I could grab that power now? Maybe that's it. No time for that. Those nearby. I don't want to walk into that thing in case it like instantly kills me or something. I'm so confused. Do I go into the, the fog? 
This is the first time I've been here. Okay, why wasn't it not taking damage? Gosh, I'm such a wuss. Oh, my tooth leveled up. I know it's not an easy trip, or even possible for you right now, heading all the way up here. But just imagine how hard it is for our family to swallow our pride in our square Things are that. Your sprint is faster and gives you a barrier that ignores instances of damage. That's pretty nifty. Most foes' range attacks are slower, and I find gold in higher quantities. And you get 100 now. I don't sprint as much as I should. But slowing down, but it's most foes, so it's probably not bosses. And I'm trying to think what's what, what they've been throwing at me lately. Not much. Alright, we're gonna go with that. Here we go. It would be nice to, like, one thing... Is there another one of those? There are three of them, right? Okay. I'm stressed right now. Mourners. Mourners. Yes. Those, they're like ninjas. They're like zombie ninjas. I'm not liking them. pretty cool too. I feel like that might actually be um, more useful than the other one now with that, that upgraded. Ow! They do a lot of damage when they connect. That does not make you invulnerable though I just realized. So I'm like, it's kind of dangerous whereas the other, the other mana attack, um, Secured. Wasn't there a guy down here, though? Do I not have to fight that? Is he just guarding that, maybe? If I don't have to fight him, I guess I won't. I'm... We're gonna go spend our gold before we use it. This way feels right. Where's Charon? Charon. I feel like a little more direction to the objectives like you know when you find when there's a when when the level ends and it's got the little wisp that shows you where like the Good things you missed are out. i kind of wish it did the same thing here so i don't quite have enough for all three i definitely want the power after you cast expires rapidly deal damage in area for two seconds i I don't use the cast much except for locking down guys, but and that's the charged up cast, which I I have not done a single time this run. I don't think. Well, standing here has to. So that is pretty useful because I I do need more mana. Yeah, we're gonna go with the mana at this point. Excellent. That's oh I thought I'd have enough for that, but okay we'll just top off our health. A deep ravine within the fields of morning spreads forth like a gash across the underworld's heart and even hateful spirits know to stay away i love the narrator in this game like the voice acting the narrator the character all of it comes together so wonderfully okay mana gold poseidon or two powers and health we're gonna go with the two powers and health for sure i gotta be getting close to the end right i feel like i gotta golden petal path I don't see any golden petals. Or, oh, these are golden petals, I guess, maybe? Shades there. I gotta work on the timing. Oh, my thing triggered. That was the first time I think I've, I've had that trigger. I don't like you guys. Take it. Stop moving. I 
I, I should have been slowing them down. I'm an idiot sometimes. Right, is there anything else I should kill? Yeah, these areas almost feel too big. I'm guessing that is something that would hurt me. Ooh, nice. What is that? I don't have any of that, I don't think. I hear a beeping. Oh, that's my moon power. Okay. Let's go do the first one over here, wherever it was. They need a map for these areas or something. Okay, so I got... Oh, did I got my Death Defiance back? How did I do that? Is it because I up, up, upgraded the tooth? Did, did that... Um... I'm not sure. Somehow I get a death defiance back. I will accept that. I'm not your prey. Lycaeans. It's nice that that triggers the the uh the fire? I didn't realize that does. That's really good. Let's keep some gold or some uh, mana regen going here. So I can just like spam. I'm like a whirlwind barb. Ow! So that makes the cast do Scorch, which is kind of nice. I do like that one. And I'm using it more now because it's giving me the mana back. I can... I don't really like this one, especially because I've got the mana, so I want it under me usually. And when I'm using it for slowdown, like, casting it is not very intuitive for doing that, I feel like. And then your Scorch does bonus to armor. 100% bonus. So I've got a lot of Scorch happening now from my Whirlwind that I wasn't really anticipating. And making it deal more damage to armor is pretty cool. Or do I want it like another source of it? I feel like I don't really necessarily need another source of it. Because I've already got a lot coming when I do that Whirlwind. I just don't know um, what is and is not considered armor in this game. Like how it Depends how many enemies... Uh, are impacted by it, I feel like. I'm assuming that stuff hurts me and I don't want to even test it. I should be sprinting more. I, it was not in the first game, so I am like so not used to utilizing it. I just totally whiffed that. I wish. Let's get that mana back. I like this because it's ranged. Alrighty. Alright. I'm taking this like super cautiously, so I apologize if you're watching this and you're just like yelling at me to just proceed. But like, I'm a big wuss, and this is the first time uh, I have gotten this far, so I'm very much taking it cautiously and trying to succeed here. I would love to beat this game tonight for the first time. Uh, it's not. It's, I don't like those lightning guys at all. Is that shadow, um, like? Protecting those guys? I can't really tell. Are they not taking damage because of the shadow? God, this thing is very annoying.
Oh, I thought that just one shot me. I was about to cry. It did. It did hit me pretty hard though. It was like a beating heart. Oh, hiss, I accept this message. All right, my sprint is faster and does daze, and daze is useful because I've got extra da daze damage, backstab damage, and I. Sp I've been sprinting more. My cast expands in size until they expire. In each encounter, you deal more damage until you take damage. Well, it's only 10% damage, though. We're going to go with the faster sprint. I want to see how much... Whoa, look at me go! How much extra bonus sprint speed do I have? 20% plus the other one was... Was it 20 or 30? It's just as faster. Oh, 30. Okay, so I got 50% sprint speed. That's pretty dang cool. Plus, I can... Uh, one shot will not hit me. I kind of wonder if this is, like, foreshadowing something. Like, what are these statues all about? Is this the third one? It's like a must to use your cast on those guys. Ow! Oh, it's like sucking me in! Oh god, that's hurting me! Get out of the... Oh, that hurt. It did. I couldn't... I couldn't get out. It was like sucking me... Better. Sucking me into it. That should have done it. I do still have the Death Defiance, at least. Um, oh, there's some free gold there. I can move forward, right? Did it unlock the, the thing? I kind of want this to be, like, the end, but I also kind of... Um, I don't want to go into the fight with this little health. Where were these trees? Okay, over here. Uh, let's go to the... Gosh, I only have 57 gold, though. It'll be a free palm, right? Isn't that how it usually is in the last one? Because, I mean, there might be a health, though. <sighs> yeah, free, free, free palm. An even faster sprint. While standing in your cast, you get even more mana. Has anyone... Has, has this triggered yet? I'm like... I don't think it has. I'll go with the extra mana. Felt that for sure. Yeah, so this is... i I'm guessing this is the boss of the third act. I really don't know how far... This could be the end of the, the beta, though. I've heard that there's like a whole nother area, so... Yes, we'll see if I can beat him to start with. <gasps> no! It's your friend! Oh god. I'm like so torn. That's my little puppy there. I can't hurt my puppy. This fight right now seems less chaotic than the last one. God, it's so hard to aim. Ow, those hit really hard. I say that, and now shit's gonna get real. God, is that- please be the- f okay, it was the big one. So it did give me that because I upgraded the thing.
I need to drop the, the cast first so I can keep my mana. Ow, that hurts a lot. Oh god, that hurt. It's very hard to tell how to avoid some of that stuff, and this is the first time I've been on on this spot. On this fight. Hey, get back here. You will stay out of this. Oh god. I do not like this at all. health I, I totally went the wrong way there I do not like my chances here those things go off way too fast one hit and I'm dead Oh, he's going to pop up randomly, isn't he? Get in the circle! Oh, I don't know how I did not just die there. Oh, fire, 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 fire. I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting super fast. I got five health, if I can do this... Oh, that's gonna kill me. That's gonna kill me. Oh, God. Damn it. <sighs> oh, God. That was stressful. For real. Like, I don't think I could do another run tonight. <laughs> we'll fix this, Sabras. Holy crap, that was intense. Uh, let's see if she says anything different. Father, mother, brother. Please be safe. Please. I love that every time she comes in here, she says something new about her family. I don't like anything. The fates would have me do their bidding. I gotta finish the lower depth still. I thought I would have something. Together we shine. At the edge of the morning fields, I face some sort of dark, infernal beast. Three monstrous canine moors, bellowing with fury and sorrow. It was my father's... my family's old dog. Through Odysseus, we have a few reports about a creature fitting that description, more or less. Cerberus was red in hue, as blood. Nevertheless, a stay within the fields could have transformative effects. Wretched thing. Torn from its home. He doesn't seem to know who I am. Whether because it's been too long or there's too much on his mind. Mind? But I felt a flash of recognition. He isn't too far gone, is he? The nature of a beast can never change. Like us, however, they at times must fight the demons that torment them. A battle in which you can assist. Trust your training. Perhaps he can yet shake the spell that's overtaken him. I'm certain that he can. Goddess. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Um, yeah, that was my most successful run so far. Let's see the cards this eve. Let's see, do I have enough? I do. I got 18 grasp. Uh -huh. Exit anyway. Uh, that was definitely my most successful run. Who can I unlock? So I need one more bronze, and then I can do it. I'm not sure how to get bronze yet, still.
but I've almost got the last weapon. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end it here. Um, I absolutely love Hades 2 so far, and it's in Early Access, which is crazy. Usually I kind of get tempered expectations with these Early Access games, and it's always like, well, I could see the potential. And honestly, if this game was out today, I would say it is as good as Hades 1. And, and like, obviously I need to play more of it to know if it's better, but the, the fun I'm having right now is equal to the fun I was having when I first got Hades and was exploring that for the first time. And it's so cool because, like, no one really knows anything about it. We're all learning things together and figuring things out, and it just it feels very, very smooth. Um, you know, a few things maybe balance need to be uh, finalized. A couple of the weapons maybe, or over or under tune, that sort of thing. There needs to be a, a, a ending, from my understanding, is not in yet. But it feels, like, very, very future complete. And if you are a fan of these roguelike games, you should definitely, definitely check this out. Uh, I'm going to sign off here. Uh, I do want to thank you for watching, everyone, and have a good night.